Is Odin going to show up this time? He is! Wow, I predicted him. Holy crap. Huh. Well, saves me some trouble. And I, again, at this point in the game, I really don't mind leveling. Bum, 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 bum. Dee 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 doo dee doo. Man, I am so sleepy. <laughs> I woke I went to bed quite well at a reasonable time and I woke up at like half two in the morning and then I finally fell asleep again probably around five-ish and then woke up at about nine half nine so it's been very weird sleep pattern oh we got a dead what the hell does a dead spirit do I'm guessing you just get the death spell from it it says it contains death so probably yeah but getting those dragon fins, like I said, is good because eventually we're going to want those for Zell's ultimate weapon. I I think it's his ultimate weapon. Oh, and Bahamut's learned auto protect, which means I can get him learning something else. And you guys probably can't hear it, but Max, Max, my dog, is barking his little tits off. Uh, what do I want to learn next with Bahamut? Maybe. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to use, does it, does it work with, I guess it only works with double, I don't know if I'm ever going to use double in a, in a fight, I'm probably going to go for triple every time, but maybe if we learn this one, he'll learn expend three dash one, it'll take a while to learn, but we'll learn it anyway. Right, nearly at the end of this screen. Come on, Odin. Come on, do it again. I dare you. I dare you. Do it again. Son of a bitch. You were doing it all the time last night. You know what? I haven't shown off the... Uh... Oh, really? 51% resistance, I still get berserked. Oh, well. I was going to show off Bahamut. But we'll have to save that for another time. Ah, oh, crap, he's killed it. Oh, well. Yeah, the problem is Squall is pretty fast now as well, <laughs> with his speed being junctioned. So he's level 29. More dragon fins, more dead spirits. Oh, and a draw point. Ah, uh, that they've put a fixed encounter in front of. You cock teases. Oh, here we go. The, we're getting into the serious business now, chaps. These are the big boys. The behemoth. Pretty sure he counters with Meteor or he uses it a lot. But I do want to try and mug another barrier from him. I think we've already got two of those anyway, though. How much HP is this guy going to have? Is the question. Quite a freaking lot, I'm going to guess. Do I not have any scans with Zell? Oh, I do. I always don't see them. But the Behemoth, one of my favorite Final Fantasy monsters. They just look so freaking intimidating. Uses powerful magic such as Meteor, a strong enemy that's hard to defeat. Yeah, you're telling me. It's got... It's level 47, for one thing. Uh, and it has 47,000 HP. Uh, I don't think it's weak to anything, so... Yeah, Limit Breaks are probably the way to go for this one. But I, I will try and mug it first. Oh, we stole two barriers! Wow, that is rare. That is a rare steal. Two of them. Holy crap. Yeah, I know card isn't going to work, but I I wanted to try anyway. Let's show off Bahamut for the first time. Nicely dodged Zell. He has 17% or 14% evasion, whatever the hell it was. Uh, and yeah, you can get regen, tornado, and flare from them. Strangely, you can't get the meteor spell at this level. Uh, but I guess we'll draw some flares. 
keep on trying to card it just in case we get lucky. Wow, did she just draw one flare? Oh, that's because I've used one already. That's why. She did have a 99 flares, I think. 99 flares and a, a flare ain't what? No, that doesn't work. Uh, just for the lols, I'm going to cast Regen on Zell. Mega Flare, baby! Here we go! Oh, it's always special seeing a, a Mega Flare in a Final Fantasy. Oh, that is cool. This, this animation is epic. He pierces the sky. Bombards the enemy with utter oblivion. Oh, 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 oh yes. And yeah, GFs, they're not going to do that much damage, okay? Still, though, that was pretty good. For his, for his current level. The problem is, this enemy has like a billion HP, so... Are we going to card it this time? No. So what I might do is I've got auras on Zell and Renoa, so I'm going to cast Aura on Squall. I'm going to try and get a limit break off if we can. There we go. Unless Zell cards this thing, which he does, of course. So we just wasted an Aura spell. Thanks. Oh, we got a BGH card. <sighs> oh well. Ah, Doom Train has learned Forbidden Medicine Refine. Now, I'm going to quickly see what we can get from that. And look, we now have three... We've reached the third page of abilities. Which is crazy. Now, Forbidden Medicine. Uh, if we had 20 Mega Potions, we could get one Elixir. I don't think that's a... That's a good trade trade at all. A hyper... Well, ten hyperists could get us a, one strength up. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using this ability, guys. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be using it at all. Ever. But we've learned it, and that means, Doom Train, you want to learn next. Element Defense times four. Which, really, I should have learned first, but there we go. Alright, what have we got here? Triple, which we don't need. And another behemoth is imminent. Come on, Odin. Come on, Odin, please. Please. Dude. Son of a bitch. Burn up, burn up, burn up. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, aura thing again now. Let's get a lion heart on this guy. Perfect. Ah, oh, just a fated circle. Okay. That is good damage. That is really good damage. Let's go again. That's why the aura spell rocks. And a rift divide this time. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's using flare on us. Interesting. How much damage is that going to do? Not much. Oh, he uses Flare when he dies. Right. I was going to say, we did a lot of damage to him then. And a crap ton of XP. Welcome to level 30, Squall. Oh, we got two more barriers. God damn. Bum, 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 bum. All the levels up. Yep, one more behemoth. It's ridiculous. But I, I think the general rule is three encounters per area, so... 
And again, Odin decides not to grace us with his presence. How much damage would a tornado do? Probably not much. Nope, <laughs> not at all. But then again, our magic stat really isn't that high. So I guess we'll mug him again. Can't hurt. Oh, here we go. Now he's using Meteor. Yeah, this won't do that much damage to us. The problem is it just hits a bunch of times. So, it does add up. But it really does depend on what character takes the brunt of the attack. It seems to have been pretty evenly spread out that time. And we blinded him. Yeah, I think he is countering with Meteor now, so... Got to be a little bit careful. Thankfully, our magic defense is not too shabby at this point. Could be better, but it ain't too shabby. Now, Zell, please card it. That would be amazing. Not this time. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go for another... I don't like to use up auras too often, but we've really got so many we can afford to. And I can always go and get more, so it's no big deal. Now, can we get a lion heart this time, Squall? Come on, dude, you can do it. I believe. That's a lot of hits that time. Okay, Blasting Zone. So we've seen quite a few different limit breaks here. I think all of them apart from Lionheart. I hope he's saving it for the ulti uh, ultimate boss. I hope he... Well, I say ultimate boss. It isn't. It's a super boss. But it's by no means the hardest boss in the game. Even though... I. I think its description will try and tell us that it is. But anyway, we need to get that first. We've still got a ways to go. Two more barriers, goddamn. So I think we've got two more screens to go through. I forget what enemies pop up in this area. So I might just do some healing. Might as well use up some of these uh, high potion pluses. There we go. Reno is fine for HP. Holy crap! Wow! Instantly took half a step. Oh, it's more ruby dragons, right? Okay, so these guys aren't too bad. We've dealt with them enough at this point. Uh, what level are they going to be, though? Can I draw... Oh, so, there we go. We can finally get the Flare and Meteor spells, but we've already got quite a few of those anyway. Yeah, in fact, Renoa is maxed out on Meteors. Um, so, we'll mug it. And try and card it. These things won't have that much HP, even if they are slightly higher level than usual. God, you know what? It just hit me. I don't know why. I fucking love playing Final Fantasy games, man. <laughs> Can you tell? Is it evident in my videos that I freaking love these things? Even if I play them for like the millionth time. Is this gonna sting? Holy shit, that did damage. Mother of God, that did some damage. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try and card you, please. As soon as, or just kill you, whichever comes first. Four Inferno Fangs. Nice one, Renoa. Oh, crap. 
If he does another breath attack, we might be fucked. Uh, so what I might do is just cure a squall. Just be on the safe side. Come on, Zell. There we go. Ooh, yeah, those things are actually scary. That breath attack did way more damage than I thought it would. It might be. It might be that it's uh, non-elemental. I'm not sure. But anyway, pretty decent AP from it. We're going to have to fight, I'm guessing, two more of those. So let's make sure we're fully healed. As I... Ooh. Nearly belch. I didn't realize we had that many X potions. Holy crap. Might as well use those, too. Right. Ruby Dragon number two, I assume. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna scan this thing. I want to see what level we're dealing with here. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Level forty nine. That would explain it. Thirty five thousand HP. Holy crap! Yeah, it absorbs fire and wind, so... Okay, then. Four more Inferno Fangs, dude. That's what I like to see. And he's using Meteor on us as well. Let's use a Blizzarga. Meteor, don't do too much damage, please. Yeah, we're fine. In fact, just for the... I don't think Sheep's going to do much damage. Let's have Renoa cast Blizzaga. Oh, Z uh, Squall, that was pathetic. That was pathetic. And yeah, there's no way Card's going to work at this early stage, but i got to try it. You never know. I love that the Blizzaga spell turns them into ice. And that did rubbish damage too. I know our magic stat isn't the best, but come on, guys. Like, seriously? He's gonna use breath on us. I know he's gonna do it soon. So I think it might be limit break time. for a world of pain, Mr. Ruby Dragon. Entering a world of pain. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. And unfortunately, we didn't get any bonuses there. That sucks. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm actually kind of scared of those things now, being at such a high level. They weren't too bad earlier in the game. Well, earlier in this area. Because you got to remember, we're still, like, only just pushing the, the level, you know, the 30 levels now, so... Facing enemies that are a good nearly 20 levels above us is always going to be a bit of a challenge. And the only, reason I, the only reason I'm showing these fights, guys, is because they are pretty tough. Definitely easily the hardest fights we've had in the game so far. Uh, let's just lay into it a little bit. Do do do. In fact, let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, breath. I hate that attack. But at least Zell can get some HP back every time. That's rather nice, isn't it? Nah, we're not going to get that lucky. God, I love the aura spell so much.
I mean, it says it only increases the chances of a limit break, but as you can see, it's it's almost it's almost guaranteed. I'd say, at least at the moment, it seems to be. No Lionheart, come on, Squall. What you doing, buddy? Ah, you just healed me, although not by much, admittedly. Right, that is all the Ruby Dragons. So, all that remains, I think we've got one more area to go through, which does have, in my opinion, the hardest enemies, which, you know, makes sense. So I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit nervous. But also kind of excited, because they are also a pretty iconic Final Fantasy enemy. So again, though, I'm going to make sure we're uh, sufficiently healed here. Because these guys could be a problem. Say hello to not one, but two Iron Giants. God, they look badass. They, they are also from Buff City, by the way. Uh, I think you can draw or smug uh, three st star fragments. Sorry, there you go. Yeah, so they they physically hit pretty hard to begin with. Uh, what how much health do we have? It's a nice uh, thing that they did in Final Fantasy X. I don't know if it was a reference to these guys, but um, in that game there are Iron Giant enemies. They're not called that though. I think they're called Gemini because they appear in pairs, uh, just like in this one. Hard to damage due to the steel armor. Doesn't use magic, but its sword causes significant damage. And apparently they're weak to lightning. Hmm. Oh, you know what? These guys aren't as high a level, so they might not be too bad. It's just they do physically hurt you quite a bit. And the fact that there is two of them, of course. So... Probably going to rely on some limit breaks here again. And that's going to be a, a recurring theme now. Limit breaks are really the best way to do the most damage. So, I never I never feel bad for spamming them because they're just that viable. They're just that good. Uh, I think if we wanted to, we could do more damage to these guys by using Meltdown. Uh, which we could do. In fact, let's see if that does have a impact on him. How much damage can we do to him? Oh yeah, our damage has increased quite a bit though. Yeah. And he's a slightly lovely shade of purple now. Grand Sword, uh-oh. Ooh, it missed everyone, thank god. So we, at least we got a few star fragments out of this. Yeah, so Meltdown is a really amazing spell. I know I've got it junctioned to my Vitality, I think. And I, as a general rule, I don't like to use spells that I've got junctioned. But in this case, it's too good not to use. And we can always get more. And using one or two isn't going to, like, reduce your stats by anything significant anyway. Thank god he keeps missing. Nineteen seventy-five. I was not born then. Yeah, this guy's still got quite a bit of health. But we have blinded him, that's why he keeps missing. I was wondering why his accuracy sucked. Sometimes it's hard to tell though, because it blends in with the background. I'll we'll speed this up a little bit. Come on. Wow, he really does <laughs> he really is missing a lot. There we go. So yeah, we're going to have, like, another two groups of those. But then we'll be at the bottom. And then, that's where the fun begins. Oh boy, I'm really nervous. I know it's probably not going to be that tough of a fight, but now that I've said that, it probably will be. 
Ooh, boy. <laughs> so at least we blinded that guy now, too. And I'm just going to spam physicals. Because eventually... They will card. Come on, guys. Come on. Really? Thank you. So I don't I don't know why I'm showing this fight. We've seen it now. Like I said, the enemies are pretty tough, and it makes the fights interesting, I guess for these guys not so much. I thought they'd be a lot harder. And I think if they were a higher level, they would be. But thankfully, they're, they're not as ridiculous as the Ruby Dragons were. Another four Star Fragments. We're nearly there, chaps. We're nearly there. Oh, we get back Oh, we back attacked them. Sweet. Hey, I'll take that. Do, 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 do. Oh, brilliant. That was nice and quick. But yeah, I asked, uh, I asked on stream what everyone's favorite uh, Final Fantasy enemy was. And I'd like to know in the comments if, uh, if anyone wasn't there and didn't tell me. I'd like to know. Iron Giants are definitely one of mine. Okay. Right, we have made it to the bottom. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, so. Uh, let's make sure we're fully healed here. I'm going to use some more X-Potions. Uh, and we're going to be pretty much... The strategy is going to be the same. I'm going to be relying on Limit Breaks, or Spells, uh, Meltdown. But first, we need to examine this. Yeah, so, you, the, the shitter is, it didn't tell you how much you needed at the bottom, it just said you still needed some steam. So, if you came down all the way here without 10 steam pressure, you can't, you can't progress. You can't actually do what you're supposed to do. But thankfully, we have. What was going on down here? Resuming operation. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh, ho, ho. Renoa has a bad feeling about this. I think she might be justified. What's going on? Look at this. It's like a freaking civilization down here. Uh oh. Excavation resuming. All except the leader must take shelter. Warning, please take shelter. Uh-oh. Are we ready for this? The first optional super boss of the game. The rocks are resonating? The air's pretty heavy. Yeah, there's a good reason for that. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Right, say hello to Ultima Weapon. And isn't he using a very familiar sword there? Yes, that. for those who don't know, that is Cloud's Ultimate Weapon from Final Fantasy VII. Very awesome sword, and he's using it on us. Now, as you can see, we can draw Ultima. Obviously, this is Ultima weapon, but we don't need to. However, Eden is the final GF of the game. Make sure you grab this thing straight away. 
And, as I said, I'm going to cast Meltdown on this guy straight away as well. Now, he does have a few nasty attacks. He can insta-kill characters by doing the maximum amount of damage, which is what he's doing right now with Light Pillar, you son of a bitch. But thank you for uh, demonstrating my point. So, let's bring Zell back. Uh... Did I, did I manage to mug from him? I'm not sure. Oh, Gravija, I don't think will kill us because it's gravity attack. But that does weaken you significantly, so it's not it's not great. Look at that. That did a lot of damage, man. That did a lot of damage. Uh, couldn't steal. Right, so we're just going to attack. I'm going to cast Aura. Actually, we're going to scan this thing first. Ooh, Quake shouldn't do any damage to it. it might actually heal some of us. I'm hoping it doesn't do too much damage. Yeah, no, we're fine. Thank you, sir, for the heal. Let's see how much HP it's got. It's only level 29, but it has 7... Oh, well, it's now, it now has 75,000. It did have 81. Uh, the strongest ultimate monster. It's said to be impossible to defeat. That is a straight-up lie game, I know a monster that is way more powerful than this thing. Okay? In fact, even the fi is the final boss more powerful than this thing? I suppose it does depend on the level that you fight it at, but still. This thing is by no means the ultimate monster. It's still pretty tough, though. Just because of the damage it can kick out more than its HP. Couldn't steal. Uh, Meteor, uh, not a fan of that, really. Let's get... Where's my aura spells? I know Zell has some aura spells. Where are they? There we go. Let's get that on Squall. Let's get him using some limit breaks. Zell nearly died. Uh, I'm actually going to cure Zell. And let's get cracking with some Limit Break Squall, please. Use Lion Hearts, that would be lovely. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Lionheart, dude, you beautiful bastard, you. This... We'll pretty much look at look at this. We're doing max damage, guys. We've basically just killed Ultima Weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> we killed him in like I know it's not one attack, but it basically is. Holy shit. Well, I didn't anticipate we'd be doing that much damage to him, but I guess we did cast Meltdown, which means he had zero defense. And thankfully, we got Eden. We've got all the GFs in the game. I'm kind of gutted I didn't manage to mug him. I don't know what item he would have had. Maybe just like Ultima Stones. I don't know. But hey, we beat him. And uh, we get Eden's card as well. 100 AP. Holy, holy shit. Wonderful. Excellent. Eden, the final GF. Uh, I really don't know how to describe Eden. I can't even remember what Eden's attack is, but it doesn't matter. We, we've got it. I just need to decide who to give it to. And yeah, we're done with the Deep Sea Research Center, chaps. That is it. Now, Eden, what are your abilities? I know you have some good ones. You have Expend 3-1. Uh, GF Ability Medicine Refine is actually amazing as you can see refine ability learning medicine from gf uh for gf from items so we want to learn that pretty much straight away i think uh look plus 50 percent is nice ah you have evasion junction and look and and speed sorry and hit so 
really... Hang on a second. I might have to give that... I should give it to Squall. I should give it to Squall. And I think I might do. <laughs> I think I might do. Yeah, I think Squall's gonna get Eden. Because he does need the evasion. He doesn't need the hit. Uh, and then he'll just need luck. Even though Renoa does need evasion as well, that's really not a big deal. We can we can get that somehow, I'm sure. So for now, I'm gonna give Squall Eden. He's got all the amazing GFs. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And yes, someone did point out in the comments, I haven't really mentioned this, but you can auto-junction. But I never do that. I like to do it manually. That's just how I am. So, let's see. Evasion. Aero was the best, I think, for some reason. I don't know why. Oh no, Tornado is even better. Oh, there you go. There you go. And again, it's kind of pointless junctioning anything to hit. Because we're not going to increase anything. It's it's already maxed. So, there you go. But we have all the GFs. That's so awesome. Look how colorful this page is now. Yay. Yay! Now we just have to get out of here. Unfortunately, we don't have an escape rope. <laughs> or any way of getting out of here. Uh, so, we're just going to have to hoof it. But we've done it! So, uh, I don't think there's any point in me showing my exiting of this area. Unless the... I think all the fixed enemy encounters disappear now. I think. Pretty sure they, yeah, they do. So we can get out of here, no problem. Uh, it's just gonna take a little bit of a, a little bit of a, I don't know. I won't take that long. This place really isn't that big. It's just the fact that you have to fight every two steps. So I will bid you farewell, guys. Thank you for watching. This has probably been split into two videos because it did take so freaking long. Uh, and and the stream that I did. In between, in, in sort of the middle of this video, notwithstanding. Uh, again, you can check that out, but honestly, if you're watching this video, like, a few weeks after this has been uploaded, that stream might be pretty hard to find, because I'm not going to put it in a playlist. It was just something random I did. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. This, is, uh, this has been very fun. Whew. But that is by no means as... You know, I know the game did say that was the ultimate monster. It's complete bullshit. That is not the ultimate monster. Not by a long shot. But it's going to be a little bit of a... a bit of a while before we fight the true ultimate monster of the game. Which is something I didn't do in my last Let's Play. In fact, I don't even remember fighting Ultima Weapon in my last Let's Play. I may have done it, though. My memory sucks. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit of... It's going to be on disc 4, put it that way. Before the next uh, real super duper challenge. But yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, before I go, I want to say a big thank you to my latest YouTube member. Which is Matthew Beatty. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so, so much for becoming my latest YouTube sponsor. I appreciate it massively. And uh, again, thank you to everyone who is a sponsor. Uh... Because without you guys, I could not continue to do this as often as I do. As an actual kind of job. So, I honestly love you to bits. Uh, but yeah, next time, what are we going to do? Uh, I think we'll probably try and max out uh, our GF abilities. I'm going to show off more of Cactua Island next time. And... Then we'll do... There are a couple more side quests. Kind of annoying ones. I've still not really decided if I want to do the Queen of Cards quest. I might maybe start it and see how far I get before I lose my freaking mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. There's, there's, um, there's, there, there is one side quest I think I do want to get out of the way. Because the reward might actually be, if I'm remembering this correctly, it might actually be another junction scroll. Uh, look junction scroll, I should say. So that would be useful for Squall. And then we'd be, you know, 
fully junctionable with everyone apart from evasion. I'll look that up, I'm sure. In fact, do I already have an item that can teach us that evasion junction? I don't know if I do, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I don't. I'm pretty sure we can get it at some point. But uh, thank you. Bye, everyone. This has been a really long outro for some reason. But uh, again, love you to bits. Look forward to the next one, chaps. I know I said that I would finish this game before the new year. I don't think that's going to happen. But we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. So, uh, so yeah, bye. Bye. See ya. Toodles. This is Snake telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.